Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. I had a friend uh, back in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, her name is Keisha, and Keisha had some serious illnesses, uh, but her her troubles that she went through ended up sparking uh, inspiration and hope for our entire church family. Um, Keisha was a hero. She was going through this, these terrible diseases and these terrible trials and tribulation, but she ends up kind of becoming famous. She had this blog site. She had these wonderful stories that she told because everybody was so inspired that she used her pain uh, as a platform. And I think that's one of the lessons that 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3 is saying when Paul says that no one be moved by these afflictions for you yourselves know that we are destined for this. The Apostle Paul is essentially saying that that God has a way of using our afflictions to stir our affections, right? That God doesn't waste pain. Now, it's two things we've got to say here. One is um, the reality is that we will have pain and hurt and brokenness in this life as a broken world and we'll have broken seasons, right? Um, and we got to just deal with that. We got to own that. We got to, we got to just acknowledge that that's real and that that doesn't make anybody happy, that there will be things that go wrong. There will be times we get sick. There will be things that happen to us, uh, in our lives that are just unfortunate. And we lament that. Uh, but the good news is that Jesus came to the world to give us hope that even on the other side of this life, there's eternal rest and peace in him. Yet at the same time in his providence, God, although he allows pain, he uses pain to bring us close to him. He uses pain as a microphone for our testimonies about him because I've learned that when I'm in a season of pain, people lean in to listen to me in ways that they don't when I'm at peace. I went through cancer 12, 13 years ago, and I'm telling you that people listened to my sermons more when I was cancer. People listened to, to what I had to say more when I was going through that. Why? Because people wanna know that God is still good and God still cares about them when they're going through. And I think that's one of the things that this passage is teaching us. C.S. Lewis said this, God whispers to us in our pleasures, speaks in our conscience, but shouts in our pain. It is his megaphone to rouse a deaf world. I like what Levi Lusco said when he said, there's perhaps no time you are as powerful as when you minister in the midst of pain. So I want to say two things in closing. If you're in pain today, I'm sorry, and I'm praying for you. But if you're in pain, God says, I'm here, and I still want to use you while you're in it. That's all for today. I'll see you next time.